Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video I'm going to be doing uh, this neon skull that I did like a really long time ago and I'm trying to, I don't know if you can see it, but it wasn't perfect, but it was really cool I guess, I'm not sure. I thought it was really cool, so that was like two years ago and I'm going to recreate my own neon skull, which I'm pretty sure I got inspired by James Charles at the time, I think it was around that time that he did like a blue neon skull, but I made it pink. Anyway, it's talking too much. I'm going to be using these two palettes for this look. Uh, this is a Morphe Artistry palette, uh, 15S, a Social Butterfly palette. This one looks like this. So I'm going to be using the neon pink and the black in this palette. And then uh, the Jeffree Star Mini, Mini Breaker palette. And using this pink and this brownish color right there I'm not sure and maybe some purple metallic shade I'm not sure exactly just yet but yeah so just go ahead and just get started I'm gonna prime my eyelids just a little bit just a little bit with concealer this is the covergirl concealer this one move my greñas out of the way um. alright to get started with the eyes I'm gonna do the neon skull stuff like after but I'm gonna start off with the mini breaker palette using this brush right here and I'm just gonna go into hot, hot fudge that um, brown shade in this palette and start Lightly packing the shade on my crease, kind of. I'm gonna create like a cat eye. So something like this, it looks a little grayish, but yeah, something like that. You're gonna go in back later and then fix it, and then you just want to go ahead and do the and other. Um, oh, I'm gonna show your nose is itchy. And then moving on to this Morphe palette, I'm gonna go in with the black shade in here. It's called Off Camera. It's really nice black. I'm probably gonna use a smaller brush for this, apply this. I'm using this one right here. It's the Morphe um, M321 M3 brush. Just packing that on and this is going to go all over our eyelid. And you just want to pack that color on. Do not blend just yet. Okay, like this. Now you're going to look a little bit crazy, but that's fine. Uh, you want to grab a fluff brush with no, well, I almost dropped something, with no product on it, and then just kind of buff that, those um, harsh lines out. Alright, now that you look like this, it's time for the eyeliner, and then we're going to go in and darken up the areas that <clears throat> need to be covered up. So for the eyeliner, um, I actually don't remember what I used for this. I'm pretty sure I used a white, a, like, gel liner for it, for it to stick on. But, um, the only thing that I have right now is the uh, NYX white eyeliner. I'm just going to outline the shape of my eye. Don't have a mirror. Don't have a mirror. So for this, um, uh, uh, scoot over so I can lean on this. Um... I'm going to start on the corner of my eye, so right here, and drag it up, or flick it up. You want to be really careful here because you don't want to ruin it. So just right about there, and then from the corner, you kind of just... Well, I'm going to drag it back down to make the line a little bit more bolder. So from the center of my eye, like right where my crease kind of starts and stuff, like right above the crease because if you put it on your crease line it will like smear and stuff especially if you're look, uh, working with liquid I'm pretty sure with gel it would smudge too so um 
I'm just gonna apply like some right above my crease and then connect it to this way so like that and then just connect it and then from right here just gonna come right in here and fill it in I'm just making the line a little bit more bolder so the neon pink can stand out more. Alright, that looks about right. And then as, once it's like um, a little bit dry but not all the way dry you just want to go in with the brush and kind of like a pencil brush uh, where is it okay something like this or something that's like small and compacted so you can go ahead and pack that color on the white I'm using this neon pink from uh, the morphe palette it's called besties and you just want to really grab the color on the brush and simply go in and just dab it over the white. And it's going to take a few layers for this to actually um, stand out. So. Alright, now going back in with the white eyeliner, you just want to go ahead and do a very fine line right in the center of all that. And then you're going to go over it again with the pink shadow. And that's just creating that uh, neon effect. Alright, now going back into the uh, black in this palette, the Morphe palette. Oh, I just pinched myself. I'm just going to lightly just go back in here and then just make sure not to put it over the pink liner but you just want to kind of make it a little bit darker and clean up a little bit of those um edges right here the pink does kind of overpower that shadow that you had underneath And then right above up here, you just want to lightly dust it around with a brush that has no uh, pigment on it. Just kind of uh, blend it out a little bit. Down here too. Alright, and then go ahead and do that to the other eye. Alright guys, so I'm using my wet eyeliner pencil to sketch out my outlines for the skull. I'm starting off with the teeth. And then I'm going to go over with my NYX white liner to trace over all my outlines and darken it up. As you will see right now. And just like my eyes, it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to shade it in with pink right after and repeat the process for about 2-3 times just to get a more neon effect. Uh, um, it looks nicer when you layer it, but you don't want to layer too much because it starts to get a little bit clumpy and then it just doesn't look nice. But yeah, so enjoy this small clip of me drawing on my face. Y'all, I forgot to do the, I almost forgot, I mean, to do the jaw. Like, I thought I was done after all this, and then, like, I realized at the very, like, last second that I had no jaw. And I was like, why does it look weird? But you'll see. I end up drawing the, the jaw afterwards.
I also want to say is that I'm shading in everything, not just the outlines. I'm shading inside the little areas and everything with pink. And right now I'm going in with the black eyeshadow and just adding some shading just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Adding some definition and some, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm just going in with the black and then going in with the pink over the black just to kind of blend it all together. And then going back in with my white eyeliner to make it stand out more. Oh, and then right here is where like, I started drawing the, the jaw because I realized I didn't have it. And I was like, what? Such a weirdo. But anyways, I will see you guys at the end of this look. And this is a completed um makeup look very spooky schmooky um as you can tell i kind of gave up on the teeth because i was so over it like this i was struggling to get the lines even and whatnot and my ocd was just like nope nope but um yeah i gave up right here but yeah and that that is a completed i look i love my back backdrop because it makes me stand out, stand out. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Oh, yeah. So, okay. So, like, I have, like, shimmer and stuff, like, all over my face. So, I found, like, this loose pigment powder. And, like, let me show you. This is magic. So, this is, this is what it looks like. It's just pink. But it's, like, it has, like, like, let me just. So, it has, like, gold. Oh, let me see. Hold on. Why well, you're not going to. Anyway, super pretty. Um, but yeah, and then the eyelashes that I'm using, guys. Look at these eyelashes right here. I don't know if you can see them. But they are by uh, Serenity Lashes. Um, you can find them on Instagram. You can also use code SANDY10. So just DM them and use SANDY10 to get 10% off um, your purchase order. And they have very, very, very various uh, amounts of eyelash styles a very bold dramatic and more you know casual simple wear if you were into that but yeah so guys i love my background like my backdrop it's black it's pitch black so you can like i stand out but yeah guys so i hope you guys have a wonderful day uh don't forget to be my friend go cool. um yeah so go ahead and follow me on instagram uh i post there often especially on my stories um and i keep you guys updated and whatnot uh, i do forget to post videos sometimes not really forget i just don't have time to edit the video and then post it on time but i will try to get better at that so yeah so bye i hope you guys have a beautiful day We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.